we want to determine if the following matrices are invertible or non-singular. A matrix is invertible if it has an inverse. So looking at our notes below, so looking at our notes below, a matrix A is invertible or non-singular if matrix A is an n by n matrix, so it must be a square matrix, such that A times some matrix B equals B times A, which equals the identity matrix I. So again, I sub n is the identity matrix, and B is called the inverse of A. To denote this, we use this notation here, B equals A inverse. The easiest way to determine if a square matrix is invertible is by using the determinant, where a matrix A is invertible or non-singular if the determinant of matrix A does not equal zero. To explain why this is, remember, if we have a matrix A where these are the elements, then A inverse is equal to one divided by the quantity AD minus BC times this two by two matrix, where to form this matrix here, we interchange the position of the elements A and D, and then we change the sign of the elements B and C. So this will always be the inverse of a two by two matrix as long as AD minus BC doesn't equal zero, because notice how if it did, we'd have division by zero here, which is undefined. And this value here is actually the determinant of matrix A. Again, using these elements, notice how the determinant of matrix A is equal to AD minus BC. So if the determinant of a square matrix does not equal zero, then that square matrix is invertible or non-singular. And this applies not just for two by two matrices, but for any square matrices. So going back to our two examples, let's begin by finding the determinant of matrix C. If the determinant does not equal zero, then matrix C is invertible or non-singular, meaning it does have an inverse. Notice how here we're not asked to actually find the inverse. So we can express the determinant of matrix C using vertical bars like this, where we have the elements three, negative one, negative two, two. The value of the determinant is going to be three times two minus negative one times negative two. So the determinant of matrix C is equal to, again, three times two minus negative one times negative two, which would be six minus two, which equals four. And because four doesn't equal zero, matrix C is invertible. Meaning that matrix C does have an inverse, such that C times C inverse, or C inverse times C, would give us the two by two identity matrix. Now let's see if matrix A is invertible. So the determinant of matrix A, again, can be expressed using vertical bars, is equal to four times two minus negative two times negative four. So again, it's four times two minus negative two times negative four which gives us eight minus eight, which does equal zero. So because the determinant does equal zero, this means matrix A is not invertible, meaning it does not have an inverse. It's also common to say that matrix A is singular. A matrix is singular if its determinant equals zero, which means it does not have an inverse. I hope you found this helpful.